And now that we have seen why we need CyberArk and what the differences are between the different privileged accounts, let's look at the CyberArk solution overall, right? So this is a very high level picture of the CyberArk solution. So over the top left corner out here, we have the core privileged access security or PaaS solution that comprises of the enterprise password vault or EPV. This is where the actual passwords or secrets are encrypted and stored. So you have the privileged session manager, which is the second component, or in short, we call it PSM, which is the component that is responsible for isolating and monitoring sessions for privileged accounts. And towards the end, we have the privileged threat analytics or PTA, which is like the analytics portion Think of this as like a SIM uh, plugin that goes in this PAS solution that helps you to identify risky session or behaviors, deviations from like normal behaviors. So this component helps you to identify those um, suspicious behaviors, right? So this entire suite is called core privileged access security. Right. And this solution can be deployed on premise. So you can have this entire solution installed in your data center or your own private servers. You can have this deployed as a hybrid. What do I mean by that is you can have some of these components in the cloud, whether if it's AWS, Microsoft Azure, GCP, or any other cloud provider that you use. And some of the components could be on-prem. So you can have PSMs on-prem or any other components from CyberArk PaaS security suite on-prem and some of the components on the cloud. So that model would be hybrid. And you can have this entire solution sitting in the cloud, right? So you can have all of this compute, all of these services located directly in your public cloud. Now this depends on your business requirements, your security policies, and your compliance needs. So if we focus our attention towards the right side, we have the application access manager, or in short, this was called AIM, or application identity manager. Now this covers DevOps and other applications, passwords or secret management. This is extensively used if you have multiple applications that talk to each other, to provision API accounts or dynamically fetch uh, privileged secrets when applications talk to each other. So this component is used for that. This is not included in the privileged access security. So we are not going to have this component in our current course, but we may have this uh, covered in a separate course followed by this one. Next, we have the endpoint privileged manager, which is also known as EPM which is related to endpoint technology. So this is like the least privileged agent that sits on endpoints that controls application and password theft protection, right? So this also helps to achieve least privileged model for account access. And this again is not a part of the privileged access security suite. So we are not gonna have this in the current course, but we'd be covered in the next one. 